All right, our liquid latex and masking are cured or dried, so we're ready to do the next layer. So this last layer, I'm just gonna use the darkest color plus some of the sterling alloy, and then I'm gonna be using the blending solution instead of the isopropyl alcohol because I definitely wanna get more leafing than metallic. Again, if you've got too much metallic, just add some of the alcohol and blow it out. And I got too much for my liking of the metallic on that section, so I'm going to definitely be a little bit more light-handed with it for the rest here. And I'm trying to concentrate more just on this area because I definitely want to be able to see those other two layers. And really it's early on in this layer. If I wanted to, I could just um, clean that com section completely off, but I don't want to right now. If it goes a little bit too close to the end, you just, like I was doing there, just blow it back a little bit. So alcohol inks are one of those things that you have some control and, and you don't have some control. So you do have control of it, but it is also going to do what it's going to do. So part of playing with alcohol inks is just learning how to control it, learning how much to use, learning how to fix it when you don't like it, because that, that's too much metallic there, I don't like it, so I'm gonna blow that back. And what really, if it was really too much, I could do this, I could take a paper towel and just pick it up. same thing here so there are ways to fix it part of it is learning the medium and playing with it and realizing how it reacts what it's going to do and then working within those parameters to have it flow as much as you're wanting Definitely want it to be darker towards this edge here. All right, let's add a little bit to the little tail. want to add a little bit more here but I also want to let that dry before doing that because it's flowing out a little bit more than I would like it to
like it the way it is, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Once the alcohol ink is completely dried, I will remove the masking. And really, it should take maybe five, ten minutes or so. It usually is quite quick for the alcohol ink to start dissipating. So it was close to being dry, but not quite. I did add a couple drops closer to the edge because I wanted it a bit darker. But as the ink gets a little bit thicker, when you blow it out, you get little spines in there, which I kind of like. Just wanted to show you that a minute before waiting for it to finish drying. All right, it is dry. Let's take off the painter's tape and the masking fluid here. It's so satisfying to take the liquid latex off. And just be careful if you have a little bit of alcohol ink on your fingers. I had a bit there, so I will be cleaning that off with some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. There we go. Once I've got that little bit there cleaned off and then there's a couple there cleaned off, I am going to spray it with a couple coats of Kamar and then a couple coats of the UV spray and then tomorrow we'll be ready to pour the resin.